Hey, what's up and welcome to another episode of TTT Tom's Tech Time. Today I'm going to introduce to you the Young Nuo Pro LED Video Light YN160. This is how it comes to you in this nice little bundle and actually um, the bundle doesn't tell you too much about the light, it only tells you the name of it, YN160 all over, and um, that it's made in China, I don't know if that's a disadvantage or... <laughs> but let's just get back to the topic. So, what can we find inside? Inside we firstly see the protection bag, that is pretty big, with the light inside and more stuff, but we'll get back to that later. Now we see uh, the um, little plastic stand and the manual in black and white on paper still. But there's a disadvantage about that too, because it's only in Chinese. As you can see here, it's all over written in Chinese and probably most of us don't know Chinese, so we can throw it away or keep it, because maybe we want to sell the light later or something. <laughs> If we don't like it too much. So actually the protection bag is made of a pretty thick material and looks pretty good. Secures the light pretty good. And firstly we find the light as it should be. And um, let's just throw a look into the light and looks good. We can open up the flags here and those are reflected uh, flags and as you can see they're they have this silver reflection stuff all over. And those are the 160 LEDs that are built in. And actually there's one disadvantage. You can touch all of them directly so there's no protection. So no glass or plastic in front of them. But we can change that later by using a filter. On the back side we see uh, the check button to check how much energy there is. The level buttons to level the light and the on and off button. And finally this is the place where you stick your battery to. I actually don't know what kind of battery you, you can put in there, but just check the information. I'll add that to it later. Otherwise, just use AA batteries. Let me show it to you. So, this is how it looks like with six nice uh, AA batteries in there and to protect them. So, you, you just use this little door and you close it and you'll be fine and your batteries will be fine and your light will be fine let's just open up the light again it's actually not too heavy you can use it on your camera or in hand and it will work out so in the box we find four filters oops one white filter um to to soften uh, the image which i'm usually using the second one is the bluer one the third one is uh, the the orange toned one and the last but not least one so to say <laughs> is the red one which i'm not using too often i am using this white one because it even protects uh the LEDs and um, gives us a better light and you can just slide it into this tray as you can see it goes pretty simple and it doesn't fall off at all so don't be afraid of that while taking it out or sliding it in it sometimes makes like strange noises like <laughs> and uh, that's just because it's uh, they don't want it to fall off and that worked out so everything's fine so this is the handle so if you want to take the light to your hand while you're being on a shot or if you want to put it onto a tripod you can use that but we'll get back to that later so the last item that's inside this protection bag is this little adapter with that adapter we can mount the light onto our awesome cameras you just simply slide it into the blitz shoe mount 
don't know actually if that's the correct English word for it. Blitzschuh, adapter, is the German word. Sounds harsh, huh? And, um, well, just, yeah, screw it in there. First find the hole, <laughs> then screw it in there. Um, that shouldn't be too hard. And you can move around the light and change the angle direction up and down. So not to the right or the left, but up and down as possible. And it's actually pretty stable. You probably shouldn't shake it, but uh, on my shoulder rig, it works out fine. So uh, you don't have to be afraid. We can turn the light on by pressing this button at the bottom of the right side. Wait, I'm gonna open up the doors for you. Um, on the left hand side, we have this check button. We can check how much energy there's still left in our batteries. So my batteries are awesome charged and here we have the level button, just watch the wall. Now you see the light is getting less, it's getting dark all over. If I'm now pressing, holding onto the other button, you can see that is leveling up. So actually that's not too good because it's always leveling, it's not fading in. So there are 16 different levels that you're having and that you can choose. You can, on the right hand side, just turn the light on and off and that's actually it. There aren't more functions available. But for that much money, that's absolutely okay. This is how it looks like um, when I turn it around. It uh, reflects to the camera on the doors even. And as you can see, watch the light again. It's getting brighter and brighter. And now we'll go back slowly. It always takes some time. So that's a disadvantage, as I just said. So there's no knob to just do it faster but if you know the light and if you know what you're shooting you should be fine with that so now I'm going to show you the um, red filter that I'm almost never using you can see it here on the reflector the color change you can see it on my hand on the on the edges gives us this reddish tone now let's check out the blue one which I'm sometimes using because it gives us this nice little night tone as you can see this white and blue mixed color sensation that was a nice work huh and finally we've got the orange light filter actually sorry for that and yeah well it's orange <laughs> play around with uh, the color temperatures we can open up the doors pretty much wide, close them down as we want and play around with the filters. So it allows us pretty good to uh, work with the light and even better that uh, even better than with uh, more expensive lights. That's one of the reasons why I got that one. Oops, I was losing one thing here. So, now I'm going to show you how to use the handle, but I'll probably skip um, the part where I'm screwing it on there, because it takes some time, because it's a long screw. So, I'll see you in a second, so to say. So, after hours and hours of uh, fixing the screw, we finally made it, and we have it on the handle, and um, we actually can just turn it on and move it around and have it right in the hand and we're able to lighten up whatever we want pretty fast and this is pretty nice actually <laughs> um, but there's a disadvantage there's a hole at the bottom of the handle and they want us to put it onto a tripod but if we do so we won't be able to move the light up and down at all so we can change the the angle that is on like 90 degrees now and as you can see here, we absolutely can change it even if we unscrew it. You can see it here, it doesn't work out. So if you're using it on a tripod, you can only use it within that one 90 degrees angle. So, and finally I'll show you how to use this uh, table stand where you are again able to turn it around to, to move the light around. But as you can see, if you're far, uh, if you're having more 
than 90 degrees it tips over so make sure it's at least 90 degrees or less and uh, that way you can put it onto a table and it's okay it's not too stable so I put something on there to secure it but this is finally it guys so check out my other videos and subscribe to my awesome TTT channel Tom's Tech Time thanks for watching